I want to show you how to automatically add links to a PDF file. So for instance, if you've created content and you typed in, let's say an email address or you typed in a web address, how to have Acrobat, either standard or uh, pro, add the links for you automatically. Now, since Reader 8 and later, what happens, you guys, is if you open it in Reader 8 or later, or Acrobat 8 or later, it's going to automatically add links to them for you. But the problem is they're kind of there and they're kind of not. If you give it to somebody who's in a previous version of Reader, these are not going to work. So we need to actually physically add them. So here's how we do that. If you guys have, uh, let's say, email addresses or web addresses within the text within the document, you can go to Tools, come to Document Processing, and if you don't see Document Processing over here in the Tools area, you can click on this little teeny button up here and show Document Processing, and you'll see Create Links from URLs. Click Create Links, say, yes, I want to go. Which pages? I'll do all of them. And it says it found six, so I'll click OK. Now, to, to see where they are, you guys, you can move your cursor around and see if you can click on stuff, or you can do this. Click on Content on the right. Come down here to Select Object and click on that. And if you come out here, you can see, now sometimes it has a delay, let me zoom in, you can see the boxes. So if I come up to these, you'll see that they're, they're right there. You can actually move these around, delete them if you don't want them. And if you notice, it put these out here. Now, if I scroll up here, you'll see it didn't put a link right here at brianwoodtips.com. It also didn't put a link on this. The reason why I didn't put it here is because it's not text, you guys. It, it requires text to read something to put a link on it. We can add our own. This one failed because there's no www to dot. Also, if you have an email address, it's looking for that amp ampersand, the at symbol, and the dot com. So there's a couple triggers that are necessary to get this to work. Now, what I can easily do is this. I find one that I've got, a link out there, a link box, with select object. I can just copy it. Go to edit, copy. Scroll up, go to edit, paste, move the link over, drag it right there. I'll make it a little bit smaller. You guys can see the little box. I'll put it right around the text. And if you want to change where it goes, like what it does, double click on the actual link box. I love this part, you guys. The appearance, you can change the appearance of any one of these. I'll go to visible and make it underline. So it looks like a little underline under the text. We'll see that. Click on actions. It says let's open a web link, but that's the wrong web link. So I'll click edit. Now make sure you guys you click on open a web link, not the actual link to edit. I'll click edit and just type in what I need. So I'll type in, you know, you guys could have copy pasted that text if you wanted to be sneaky, but find with tips.com. There we go. Click OK, click OK, and we've got ourselves a link. Now to actually test it out, go to the hand, the hand tool, click on that, and you'll see there's the underline. It'll give you the finger, so to speak. And you'll see the ones that it adds, you guys, do not have any appearance on them. There's no boxes whatsoever. So that's an easy way to add links throughout your document. Sometimes you'll see it adds more than you expect. Sometimes it adds a lot less than you expect. But you still have to go in and just make sure they're there. They're, they're where you want them. So anyway, I'll save the file and be good to go. Pretty simple.